Hi guys, welcome to Rodha, my name is Ravi Prakash and again I am back with this number of practice session. So in the previous few practice sessions we have discussed a lot of good uh, questions on numbers actually and algebra, this uh, recent practice session going on algebra and numbers right. So hope you have completed all, all that questions, almost 25 plus questions we have discussed in algebra and numbers and just quite high quality questions actually. Okay. So under very very good in this series, let's add this. Uh, you should you should be able to do it right if you have all the basic funda. And it's a good question. Let's see, guys. Find the divisors of the, uh, of the number. Find the number of divisors of the number. One factorial into two factorial into three factorial goes till ten factorial, which are proper squares. Okay. So as usual, you will try for at least uh, five minutes. If you are not able to solve it, okay. If you can solve it within two minutes, you can get the answer. Okay. If you have all the basic funda, right? Okay. And before that, this one again, this our test series is back, guys. Okay, this T20 test series is back, and uh, last uh, if it's around one and a half month ago. I don't know how many if you've given right, but again, I informed around how, how this is free for everyone. And around one and a half month ago, it was a series like uh, continuously going on for every uh, every uh, I think for 15 days uh, continuously, and a lot of questions. Uh, we have prepared a uh, good moderate and advanced level questions, typical CAT level questions, right? So again, this test series is back and it will be till CAT, right? So if it starts from 9th November, 7th PM actually, and uh, it will be free till CAT every day. So it's very good actually, right? very handy also because people won't be, uh, many people don't like giving uh, big mocks actually, okay? So 20 questions in uh, uh, time bound practice, around 7 of quant, 7 of LRDI and 6 of VRC, right? It's like 7 in quant, 7 in LRDI and 7 in VR, 6 in VRC. So 20 questions, uh, small uh, practice test, okay, covering major areas of uh, major uh, concepts of quant and LRDI and VRC and it will be till cat, okay? So all of you should give this right. We have prepared some very good questions, some very tricky questions as well before cat, right? To give you a good learning actually. It will be a good experience. Uh, all of you should give this test, okay? This T20, this link, again, this enrollment link, I'll put it, I'll pin in, in the comment. Okay, pin in the comment. So this is such a, it's very, it's very good actually, right? This test series, actually it's a fun. So 20 questions, 20 minutes kind of, okay? And uh, all are good cat level questions, right? So just uh, attempt this series, everybody. Till, this will continue till cat, okay? So that's why uh, this initiative is still cat, so, Day, every day give this and uh, we'll have analysis also on weekend so once you enroll this in this link you'll get all the links for analysis and all okay okay so this starts on 9th number 7 pm okay Chalo, fine let's start with this uh, let's continue with our questions guys okay now look at this question here this question says that find the number of divisors of the number 1 factorial into 2 factorial into 3 factorial into 10 factorial which are perfect squares Okay, now, so basically, uh, first of all, we just need to basically quickly find out what are the number of prime factors of every number here, okay, of every factorial. For example, we should remember actually, right, I think we, we remember that 10 factorial contains 2 raised to 8 into 3 raised to 4 into 5 is square into 7 raised to 1. That's prime factorization of, factorization of 10 factorial, right? It contains 2, 8, 3, 5, uh, uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, power 8, 4, 2, 1, correct? This you should, you should remember actually, okay, it's, it is used a lot of times in approximation and factorial questions also, okay, so remember it, right? Now, what is 9 factorial, guys? 9 factorial, so I think uh, 2 will be same, right? So 2 will be how many times? 7 times because 9 to 10, 2 is added one time, right? Okay, so now it 2 is remain, 2 remains same. So in 10 factorial, only from 9 to 10, only 2 changes will happen, right? 1, 2 will be added, 1, 5 will be added, right? So in 9 factorial, I should again directly write 3 should be same. Now 2 and 5, the changes will happen and 7 will again remain same, right? Similarly, from 8 factorial, so from 8 factorial to 9 factorial, 9 is multiplied, 9 is 3 square. So only 3 will happen, right? Rest all will same, rest all will remain same, so only 3 square change will happen here, okay? Like this. Similarly, if you move to 7 factorial, so in 7 factorial to 8 factorial, 8 is being multiplied. So 7 factorial, what I'm telling is, from 7 factorial to 8 factorial, 8 is being, only 8 is being multiplied, right? So from 7 factorial to 8 factorial, only 8 is being multiplied. So what is that 8? 8 is 2 cubed. So only 2 should increase the power by 3. So basically, that should be 2 raised to 4 into 3 is square 
into five raised to one into seven raised to one. Correct, right? Okay. Similarly, uh, if you get six factorial from six factorial to seven factorial, only seven is getting multiplied. Okay, only seven, right? So this basically, if you remove seven here, it becomes two four into three is square. Okay, into five raised to one. Similarly, what is five factorial? So when you come lower down, it becomes easier, right? What is five factorial? So five factorial basically, so simply a uh, two and three will, will will reduce one two and three. So two cube into three into five. That's it, right? Okay. So basically, uh, okay. So basically, so that's that's the thinking uh, is required in this question, right? Okay. Now if you see this here, so basically what is four factorial, right? It's four factorial. So four factorial is like uh, if it's tw only twenty four, right? You can do it mentally, you know, two cube into three raised to one. 3x factorial is what? Again, 2 into 3. What is 2 factorial? 1 into 2. Correct, like that. Okay. So, what is the basically powers of 2, right? So, if you collect all the powers of 2, so if I see, right, 1 factorial into 2 factorial. So, if you see, right, so basically all the tough questions of CAT, if you see in previous years, they are formed on the most basic concepts, right? You just have to be, be fast in thinking and all, right? So, that's, that's why this question takes a perfect understanding of factorial calculations also that perfect square funda also right so basically uh, 4 factorial and then we have here 10 factorial right so if i multiply all this what i'll get so basically 2 is how many times you can see here right 2 is 1 1 or uh, 2 3 5 3 8 4 12 16 23 30 and 38 so 2 is 38 times okay fine 3 is how many times you will see 3 guys so 3 is how many times basically so 3 is basically uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 13, 17. 3 is 17 times. Then 5 is how many times? 1, uh, basically 5, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 times, right? So 5 is basically 7 times. And similarly, 7 is how many times? 7 is 4 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So quite simple now, right? It's, it becomes right. So it's just like, just like I need to treat like a number here. Like n is equal to 2 raised to 38 into 3 raised to 17 into 5 raised to 7 into 7 raised to 4, right? Where where this uh, should be a perfect square, right? So which factors are perfect square? So we know that fact perfect square basically means what? Any any integer should have even power of the form 2k such that if I do its a square root, 2 2 will get cancelled and some integer value is left. That's the meaning of perfect square, right? So basically, the bracket of two, right? You just need to understand this. This bracket of two, like if you do it mentally, right? If you can think of mentally, so it's, it's something like this. Two raised to zero, two raised to one, till two raised to 38, correct? It is like two raised to, uh, three raised to zero, three raised to one, till three raised to 17, correct? Then five raised to zero, five raised to one, then 5 raised to 7 and then 7 raised to 0 till 7 raised to 4 okay so basically if you can directly think of mentally right think of this mentally okay so what is happening here so basically from the brackets of 2 so 2 from 1 to 38 so i need all the even powers right multiples of 2 so from 1 to 38 there, there will be 19 multiples of 2 and plus this 2 raised to 0 because don't leave it because this is always 1 is always a perfect square okay 19 plus 1 so 20 terms here right similarly from 1 to 17 we'll have 8 multiples of 2 okay or you can directly also do that from 0 to 17 there are 18 18 18 numbers here if there are 18 numbers here so half will be even half will be odd so you can directly take 9 also from this bracket okay similarly 0 to 7 there are 8 numbers here out of 8 again you need half half is 4 0 to 5 there are 5 numbers here 5 then basically when it's odd number it basically means that from 1 to 4 you need these two numbers here and that is 1 7 is to 0 that is make that makes it makes it total 3 so it will be 3 here okay it's like 20 into 9 into 4 into 3 so it's like 18 4 here 72 into 3 216 so 2160 is the answer for this question correct right so again it's a very nice question guys okay it's a very good question uh tests all your basic funda with bit of fast calculations also perfect square also right? good question okay now one more question we can do here okay so cat 2015 actually this question was from cat 2015 okay it's a good question actually 
find n this question was find n or i should write rather rather write find minimum value of n find minimum value of n okay if 2 raised to 200 minus 2 raised to 192 into 31 plus 2 raised to n is a perfect square is a perfect square right this is the question actually okay this is a perfect square you find so now if you if you see this guys or oh, this question actually uh this question is now obviously we need to factorize to solve it right i i need to factorize it okay so what what is my approach here so i should take from this part actually so let me write here 2 raised to 200 minus 2 raised to 192 into 31 plus 2 raised to n now obviously i'll be taking 2 raised to 192 as common from here and that becomes 2 raised to 8 minus 31 plus 2 raised to n correct right okay now this becomes what 2 raised to 192 then into 225 okay plus 2 raised to n correct now this is 15 square right so 2 raised to 192 is basically 15 square here okay so now if if i if i further try to solve it basically i need to find i need to take something common right so because this obviously to make it a perfect square i need to take something as common from here such that this value will become a perfect square okay so what i need to take common from here so basically if i write something like this 2 raised to 192 If I try to take it common from here, then two twenty five plus something should be left here, okay, na? So that 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 corresponds to two raised to n actually, right? That something should be left here. So whatever I add something here, this should give me a perfect square actually. Okay, just think over it, right? Okay. So what what that something should be left here? If you think over it, right? So any that is fifteen square. So what I should add in fifteen square? That should be of the form two raised to something form. So two raised to k form, right? Such that it becomes a perfect square. Okay. So think over it. Like two twenty five after fifteen square, it becomes two fifty six. If you add thirty one, thirty one is not two raised to k form. Okay, fine. Then two eighty nine. Two eighty nine is seventeen square. Seventeen square means yeah, that is sixty four, right? So if I add sixty four, that is two raised to six form actually. Okay, two raised to six actually, and then it becomes a perfect square. Two twenty four plus six. Two twenty five plus sixty four. 289 is a perfect square right so basically what it that is mean actually that means after taking 2 raised to 182 common i need here i need here 2 raised to 6 okay so that basically means what that basically means what see that basically means what that if if i'm trying to put any values here right so let's say this value should be 6 more than 192 that means 2 raised to 192 Into two twenty five plus two raised to one ninety eight. If I write like this and I take two raised to one into common from here, it becomes two twenty five plus sixty four. It becomes a perfect square. Getting it right? So that's the logic behind it. Okay. Plus this is two eighty nine. That is seventeen square. Okay. So now it is perfect square, right? Because both have got even powers now. Okay. This is a perfect square now. So that basically means that sixty four is a perfect uh, square of the form two raised to six. That means what is the value of n? n value is 198 therefore n is equal to 198 that's the answer for this question okay this is a cat 2015 question very nice question right okay guys then so yeah so please uh, uh, uh give this test uh, from 9th november guys okay so i want all of you to give this test on 9th november attend the analysis and see where are you uh, lacking we are lagging behind or it will be it will be uh, very good for you because we'll be very high in practice okay So you should be in very high in practice still, cat. And this small session is basically people don't like to make. Uh, it's good for those people who don't like to give very a uh, big mocks actually for one hour and or two hours or daily. So we can have a a little test of twenty minutes and you'll be fine. Okay, so that all things are going fine. Or what is my weak points? Or I'm in a good time bound practice situations, right? Okay, so enroll through the link in the comment. Okay, hello guys, thank you for watching. We'll again meet in the next video. Bye bye.